Jokes about people's gender is not funny. People get easily offended and you start to gain the label of being a sexist. And everybody knows, sexism is for men. Hey guys, what is going on? This is by far one of the most requested videos from you guys. And I actually did a video about this a long time ago and there was an issue with it and YouTube ended up taking it down. So let's upload another one, man. Women in law enforcement might not seem like a big deal to most people, but this is definitely the elephant in the room in the law enforcement community. Well, one elephant. We have about 23 in the law enforcement room. But for time's sake, let's talk about women. Whoa, man, touchy subject. I know this is a touchy subject, but touchy subjects are what I do. There is no secret that law enforcement is a male-dominated occupation that is filled with the alpha males of the community. I'm sure somebody's going to comment like, cops are pussies. <laughs> Don't break your keyboard. So with all these alpha males around each other all the time, I'm sure that you can imagine there are sword fights that break out regularly in the locker room. So what is it like for a little five foot five blonde bombshell to suddenly interrupt the unmistakable flow of testosterone? Now, obviously, I am not a five foot five blonde bombshell, but I have seen them come in and crumble, and I've also seen them come in and dominate. And yes, it is true. People have actually messaged me asking me the title of this video. Officer 401, do you think women should be in law enforcement? To be completely honest, it is ridiculous that anybody would even ask me that question, but it happens. Now, have I seen females in law enforcement that have absolutely no business being there? Yes. Have I seen women that are more worried about their nails than they are their training? Yes. But guess what? I have also seen men that are more worried about their hair gel and trimming their beard than they are being the police. I have noticed there are a lot of people in both genders that want to look like the police. However, when it's time to be the police, they're the first ones to leave the scene. Like, yeah, save the day. Oh, oh, paperwork? Oh, oh no, I'm out. Let me preface this, guys, by saying I am not here under any circumstances to blow smoke or to flatter anybody. I think it's pretty safe to say in this point in the game, I am known not to sugarcoat my opinion. There are people that agree with me. There are people that don't. But either way, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. With that being said, let's move forward. So let me jump right to the bottom line, and then I will give you guys my explanation. And the bottom line is, yes, women should be in law enforcement. I have worked with women that would make you look like a four-year-old in a karate class swinging wildly should you guys get into a fight. And I've worked with women that I'm sure probably have bigger private parts. Not that I've seen them, that would be sexual harassment. I think it's safe to say there has been a long-standing preconceived notion about women in either military or in law enforcement. But I can tell you from personal experience, I will never, ever, ever underestimate somebody because of their gender. In the last department I worked for, there was a lady that was maybe, she was about 45 years old, and she was about five foot five, 130 pounds. She was tiny. I don't think I've ever met somebody that did not give a shit more than her. Like she was so chill and just like laid back. She was like a hippie with a uniform, but this girl loved to fight. And I remember a long time ago, there was a fight that broke out in the projects and there was three of us that responded down there. She was one of them. Long story short, we got the fight broke up and it was me, her, and another officer walking back to our car, and she's standing in the middle, and out of nowhere, this huge, huge girl from the projects comes dashing out from her front porch, and she was running straight toward us. We didn't know this at the time, but this girl was actually trying to get to a female that was behind us, but again, we didn't know that. We just saw this big bitch charging toward us. That's a huge when I say big, this girl was big. She looked like her blood type should have been Crisco positive. This girl seriously looked like the nutty professor's sister if she hadn't shaved or washed in 40 days. And I'm actually being kind of courteous saying 40. If I had to name five of the fattest people I knew, she would be three of them. Anyway, this girl comes charging out and she is in like full dash right toward us. And my first reaction was to step out of the way, pull out my taser. And the other officer that was on the other side of her did the exact same thing. Well, this small little female is standing right there, standing her ground. Dude, when I tell you this was some like straight up Mr. Miyagi stuff, I can't explain how she did it to this day. It had to be like some sort of, she defied physics. There's no other way. This girl runs straight into her and she stepped back. It was like she, she used her body's momentum that was charging forward and picked this girl straight up off the ground and threw her on her back, jumps on top of her and starts laying on her. Dude, just starts whacking the shit out of her. So me and the other officer, we're standing there like, 
oh shit. Me and this dude were so shocked it took us a good few seconds to realize what just happened. And then we actually had to run over there and pull the female officer off of this girl. I had never seen some shit like that before. All I saw was feet and flip flops. And I think there was a shower cap over on the ground. So needless to say guys, I have worked with some amazing, amazing strong women in law enforcement. Now let's talk about that little elephant in the room I talked about earlier. Ladies, if you plan on getting a job in law enforcement, be prepared to prove yourself. I am in no way, shape, or form whatsoever suggesting that you have to prove anything to me. However, there is an overwhelmingly large amount of men who don't think the same way I do. There is no question whatsoever that women have to work harder whenever they are in any type of law enforcement capacity or in the military. I think guys have this thought in their head that like a woman's just gonna break. Like if she if she gets hit, right, she's just gonna crumble. I've actually seen male officers call for backup because a female officer showed up. That's shitty. That would be an awful feeling to show up on a call and have one of your partners, somebody who you thought was your partner, call for backup because they don't think you're competent in doing your job. That's a shitty, shitty way to treat somebody. Another bad part about law enforcement being such a male-driven occupation is the fact that things like sexual harassment are usually laughed at more so than the private sector businesses. And I'm not going to say laughed at, like it's not like nobody takes it seriously. But I have seen supervisors sexually harass females and nothing was done to them. They got a slap on the hand, they got maybe a demotion for a few months, and they were right back up to the same rank they were at before. The frustrating part about stuff like that is that nobody's going to verbally admit it. Nobody's ever going to say that because everybody's worried that somebody's going to file a complaint or they're going to get a lawyer or something like that. So nobody will ever admit that they think you are incompetent because of your gender. My recommendation is to get out there and shoot. Get out there, learn tactics, learn everything you can. So when it's time to go out there, you can knock the guy's dicks in the dirt. When there's a female out on the range that shoots better than everybody else and she has good form, right at that moment you have earned everybody's respect. I say earned loosely because you shouldn't have had to earn it in the first place. I'll never forget, we had this one girl that worked at the, uh, at the last apartment I was at. I say girl. This woman was about 250 pounds, very short hair, and didn't like men. I mean in a relationship capacity, you guys know what I'm saying. Lesbian, yes, she was a lesbian. Anyway, she she turned out to be one of my absolute favorite people at that department. This girl would throw down in an instant. I'd be over here calm, just like taking some notes on a call. I look over and she's over there like bobbing and weaving. So guys, I only have a few more minutes on my camera, so I will leave you with this final thing. I don't care if you are gay. I don't care if you are a man, if you're a woman. I don't care what you identify as. If you have my back as a partner, I will call you my brother or my sister and I will have yours. In the grand scheme of things, guys, it doesn't matter what people's sexual preference is or what their gender is. We are all there to accomplish the same goal. We are on the same team. We all wear the same uniform. There is no reason for me to even be having this discussion right now on YouTube, but I have to because it's there. It exists. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it down now. I appreciate everybody's support. I've got some huge plans coming up for this channel, and I am very excited to show you guys, but I cannot tell you what they are yet. I am going to go get my daughter, take her out for sushi, and then go home and edit. I hope you guys have had a great week so far. Thank you so much again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I've got a few topics uh, that I want to discuss here in the next upcoming videos, uh, but I am taking suggestions, please. At all times, I am taking suggestions. Um, I've gotten one about police explorers. Um, I've gotten one about bounty hunters. I do read y'all's messages, even though I don't respond to every single one of them. I do see your messages. If it's a topic I think I could talk about for about 10 minutes or so, then I'll usually do the video. Either way, guys, have a great rest of your week, and I will see you soon.